Hi, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Uh, to discuss uh, further into slant asymptote lines, and now look at a quick example to better illustrate uh, slant asymptotes, which I covered in my earlier video. Yeah, so make sure to watch my earlier video on slant asymptotes, which I also derived for the special case for rational functions, and I'll use in this example as well. So let's go further. So here's an example. It says, find the slant asymptote line of the function f of x equals x cubed divided by x squared plus 1. And as you can see, this is a rational function because, because this is made by a division of two polynomials, x cubed, and then there's the uh, x squared plus 1. Both these are polynomials. And the domain in this case is all real numbers because x squared plus 1 is always uh, non-zero. So you can't get a 0 in there. It's always positive the x squared. All right, so let's just jump right ahead and look at the solution. So first of all, recall from my earlier video that a, not and, that a slant asymptote line is defined as, or we can determine it by taking the limit as x approaches infinity or negative infinity, whatever the case is, of the function f of x minus, and then the slant asymptote is going to be a line, uh, mx plus b, and that's a slant, equals to 0. In other words, the difference between the function and a line any given line, it approaches zero as x is going to infinity. And all right, yeah, you could do uh, plus or minus or plus and minus, depending on the case. I'll just leave it like this for now. Let's just go further. And in our case right now, we have, yeah, we have a rational function over here. So recall, first of all, that a rational function is defined as being the division of two polynomials on the domain where the denominator is not equal to zero. In other words, a rational function r of x just for a quick refresher, equals to p of x over q of x. And p and q are both polynomials. And if this has a domain uh, where the bottom is not equal to 0, so it's uh, q of x is not equal to 0. So for all x values where uh, the, this is not equal to 0. Because otherwise, you get a 1 over 0 uh, formula over there. Or um, 1 over 0 goes uh, is undefined, or approaches infinity, and so on. Yeah, in other words, we get a, a vertical asymptote in that case. So, and now since f of x is a rational function with a numerator 1 degree uh, higher than the denominator, as you can see over here, let's scroll over here, this x cubed, and there's an x squared plus 1. So x cubed is 1 higher than x squared. And then as shown in my earlier video, we can use polynomial long division to, de to determine its slant asymptote, which is in fact the quotient of the polynomial long division. As you can see here, as I'll show you soon, uh, x cubed and there's an x squared, so the highest power that a difference is going to be the degree of the quotient. So let's just go further and write this down. So we have f of x equals to x cubed over x squared plus 1. So if we use polynomial long division, put the x squared inside like this. And then we have an x, uh, I mean the x squared plus 1 outside. And then the x cubed inside here, which is the one being divided. And then what we do first thing we'll do is determine a variable to multiply by x squared to get x cubed, which is just x. And again, now uh, to learn more about polynomial long division, make sure to watch my earlier videos. Put those in the link in the description below. So we multiply by, uh, by it out. We get an x cubed and then x uh, times 1 get it plus 1. Now we should just subtract uh, the top, I mean the, I mean the bottom from the top. So we subtract the x cubes disappear and then we end up getting is a, yeah this is not a, this one x times 1 is x, like that. Yeah, my bad. So when we subtract it over there, and this one's put another 0 there, just pretend it's uh, there. So 0 minus x is just negative x. And now uh, we can't go any further to, uh, otherwise we won't get a polynomial. So this is x is a clean polynomial. And then if we, because if we had another variable here, we'll have to multiply by x to the negative 1. So that multiplies by this to get x to the 1 over there. In other words, we won't get a, a polynomial. So this is considered the remainder over here. So the, the undivided remainder that still needs to be divided. So then what we end up having is f of x is equal to, here I just wrote thus instead, I just write it like that. So f of x equals to, again, it's x cubed over x squared plus 1. So this equals to the quotient x. And this is actually, in fact, going to be our uh, slant asymptote line, uh, which is a quotient, as I'll show you. So x, and then we have to add the remainder divided by this one over here, the undivided part. So negative x, because it's negative, uh, over x squared plus 1. So we end up getting this is a clean one divided, and this one is the still the remainder needs to be divided further. It's going to be a fraction of this one over there. And now what we'll do is, because again, recall how the definition is, fx minus mx 
plus b. So in other words, and it has to equal to zero, and then this one, yeah, this is a linear function there. So we just we could just move it, and as I showed, this is going to equal to zero because that degree is less than this degree over there. So move this over. I'll just move it over all the way over here, just so we don't need to write this because we don't need any more. So that we'll, then what we have is f of x minus x equals to negative x over uh, x squared plus one. And now what we'll do is take the limit. So we'll do a limit as x approaches infinity of yeah, of f of x minus x like this and this equals to the different I mean uh, this well, right side over there limit as x approaches infinity of right here negative x over x squared plus one and now we could solve for this one and again it's gonna be zero as I showed in my last video but nonetheless let's keep solving it so I'll just write better brackets like this and now what we could do is, uh, when we have a polynomials like this, we'll just multiply or divide both sides by the highest power. So we'll go 1 over x squared, and then times it by 1 over x squared, because that's the highest power or degree. So when you multiply that inside in that function, what we end up getting is, again, the limit as x approaches infinity. And then when we multiply this, we're not multiplying by, it's still going to be 1, so we're not changing anything. It's going to be negative 1 over and so the x divided by x squared is going to be x, 1 over x. And then divided by, on this side, we have the x squared divided by x squared. That just becomes 1. Then plus uh, 1 divided by x squared. That's just going to be, well, 1 over x squared, like that. So in other words, when you're approaching infinity on this side, what we end up getting is the top is going to be going towards uh, negative 1 over infinity over uh, the bottom side is going to be yeah, is going to be just 1 and then plus 1 over infinity. Infinity squared is going to be infinity and 1 over infinity it's all going to be approaching 0. So in other words we're getting a 0 over a 1 plus 0. So in other words this all equals 0. So this equals to 0 as expected. Yeah so thus thus uh, y equals x is an asymptote is an or I'll just is a slant asymptote line um, yeah I'll write 2 or of I'll just write of f of x like this I'll put a like that explanation point yeah so we wrote that down over here so thus as x approaches infinity yeah, so as it's approaching the difference fx minus x over here is approaches 0 which is the same as fx approaching the line y equals x thus y equals x is a slant asymptote line but again they approach but they never reach and if you graph it here I've graphed it with decimals graphing calculator there is the uh, black x uh, cubed over x squared plus one and then the dashed line y equals x as you can see here this is approaching it but never reaching it and in fact is an asymptote even on the other side over across there and I'll write that here notice how even as x approaches negative infinity the same asymptote line holds true so thus we have uh, and you could even see that in the formulation above. So uh, notice how x approaches plus or minus infinity of f of x, the difference, minus x equals to 0. And you could even see that over here. So even if you put plus or minus here, it doesn't matter what it is, it's still going to 0. And in fact, we could even go all the way across here and write plus or minus, plus or minus. And yeah, it doesn't matter what you put in there, even write plus or minus. In this case, yeah, it doesn't affect anything. So yeah, that is all yeah, all for today. So I want to show that. You can, again, play around with Desmos calculator. It's pretty amazing. Anyways, that is yeah, all for today. Hope you'll learn from this. Uh, just a quick example on determining slant asymptote lines of, of rational functions with this category. And I believe if there's a difference greater than 1, you might even have a, it's like an asymptote problem and uh, other cases like that. I might go over those in later videos. Pretty interesting. And it was all for today. Thanks for watching. And like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below, as well as viewing these notes in article format on Steemit. And uh, yeah, follow me at MES. And also make sure to check out my uh, cool math forums and post any cool or ma uh, math or science related stuff you find right over here. And it was all for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solo.